Hello, welcome in the first lecture in uh, the first video in our lecture Advanced Mathematic Modeling. Uh, in this video I want to uh, give you an overline of the content of this lecture, uh, what I plan to do. And uh, so, so the idea is that we start um, with the description how to describe stochastic probabilistic ev uh, events or effects in, in, in a model and then uh, go all the way to stochastic processes and finally to scaling power laws and a lot of very actual and cool applications. Um, so, but there, since I don't really know your, your background, where you, where you started, so we will we'll start with a primer of probability theory. I, uh, I will try to make this, this uh, rather short because I assume basically maybe most of you will have uh, heard about this. Maybe you had some statistical courses or so on. So probably you will know about this. So, but to have a common language, common frame, I will start with the basics of probability theory. Then uh, we will look for random number and probability distributions. And this will be then the important techniques that we will uh, need for the rest of the lecture. We will see how to calculate expectation values, how to calculate moments. Um, then I want to introduce you to, to some more powerful or modern techniques like generating functions. And then maybe this is something where, uh, which maybe will be new for many of you. So we will then here see the most important uh, distributions that we will use later and uh, yeah, we will also look, have a short look at multivariate distributions, which will then need to start then the uh, stochastic processes. These are random numbers which depend on time. So that's really where we start to model uh, processes, random processes in time. And um, so that's actually a very big field, but then we will focus on random walks so and this will be the kind of the, the key uh, random walk theory. This will be the, the, the key theme to uh, uh, to go into the scaling and, and, and uh, power loss. So we will look at uh, terms like mean squared deviation, diffusion, and then we will see uh, the first power law. We will also use this a little bit to, to model animal movement, um, but then uh, yeah, so uh, once we have seen that random walks easily describe diffusion, then we will look how can we extend this to, to get behavior that is beyond diffusion. So we will look at anomalous diffusion, levy walks, levy flights, and so on. Uh, we will discover power laws, um, look at scale-free properties. And, and so then we are here directly in, in, we have the tools available to, to look in all kinds of interesting applications. And there it's a little bit open what applications we will treat. For sure, we will look at fractals, at self-similarity. So uh, like geometries, which are described by power law and scale-free properties. Probably we want to look at allometric scaling and metabolic theory. Um, this is uh, uh, in, in ecology, the metabolic theory is, is one of uh, uh, a prevailing theory which is coming again and again but many people don't really know where it comes from how how is this modeled and with the tools we have we will be able to understand what's behind the uh, metabolic theory then we will look at some own processes um, uh, which will allow us to look at something like Ewell Simon process, this rich get richer phenomena which lead to power law distributions. Or we will see how, how this works out in the neutral theory of biodiversity. How can we use this to describe rank abundance distributions in ecology? Or we could go into network theory, and look uh, a bit at epidemic spread. That could be interesting with the uh, current um, emphasis on all this corona 
pandemic dynamics and there in the moment there's many models or there are many models around to describe how such a virus spreads in the population and then uh, so we could look a bit on some modern or applications um, how to describe uh, epidemic spread uh, and not in just a simple SIR framework what is often done but in, in, in some realistic uh, contact network that's described by by uh, pro distributions and so on, but here we will see it depends a little bit on the on on, on the time that we have available, uh, to see how many applications uh, we we will able to cover in, in in this lecture. So that's basically the the whole uh, yeah the content and um, so in, then my next videos I will start with the basics with the primer of probability theory and um, but keep in mind this might be for some of you as at least or, or in particular for the ones who have who know this already it might be maybe a bit dry material that's maybe more math in the exercises i will will try to find at least some interesting applications um, uh, or some some puzzles where probability theory is bending your mind so like uh, where where there, when you calculate a solution it's not the one you would have intuitively guessed but uh, this is but this is just here in the beginning the basics that we will need to arrive here in the more interesting modern applications so for the moment thank you and in the next video we will start with probability theory